Hello, and in this video, we're going to have a look at the question, should I go for a certification exam, say for example, one by Microsoft, when it's about to retire? So to give an example, here we have the SQL Server 2012-2014, and it's going to retire on January the 31st. Now, similarly, there's an SQL Server 2016 exam certification that's also going to retire. In fact, there's a lot of certifications that were originally scheduled to retire on June the 30th, 2020, which are now retiring on January the 31st, 2021. So the question is, is there any point in actually doing it? So one of the possible points is that you can receive a certification. So for this one, the MCSA, you have to complete three different exams on quite different aspects of SQL Server. And if we look at the requirements, you can see that there are some quite detailed and varied requirements in each. Now, one of the advantages of passing this exam is that you can say to your current employer and to prospective new employers, Microsoft says that I can do all of these. Now, this can mean the difference between a job interview and not, for instance. And I speak from personal experience. On my CV or resume, I had a bunch of certifications. I didn't have the actual skills they were looking for in terms of knowledge outside of computing, but I had the computing skills they were going for. And so that made the difference. They decided, yes, I will interview that person. And eventually I got that job. So what's the difference between me actually knowing the skills and me having the certification? Well, if I know the skills, then I'm just saying to my prospective employer or my current employer when I'm talking about trying to get a job raise or an advance in salary. Yeah, here are lots of skills. Yeah, I know them. And that's it. It's not necessarily very convincing. It might be more convincing in your current role because people know what you can do. But to your next manager or your next employer, it's not as convincing. However, if you take a particular exam and you pass, then you will get the certification. So this is an example of one that I took because I, want, I was creating a new course and I wanted to be able to say, yes, I can do the skills that I'm about to teach you. You will have that for the rest of your life. Now, yes, this particular certification is going out. But what does that actually mean? Does that mean if I've got any of these certifications, if I pass any of these exams, I'm no longer allowed to say I've passed them? No, it doesn't. What it means is, firstly, you won't be able to do any fresh exams of these particular ones which are retired. But you've already done the exams in this particular situation. You've done the exams. It will remain in your active section of your transcript for two years from the retirement date. After that, the certification will be held in the inactive section of your transcript. But the key is, it will still be there. You will be able to show people, I have done this certification. And if a new certification comes along, then you can study whatever the difference is between these two certifications and go for the updated version. You can say to people, I already have these skills. I don't necessarily need a new certification, but if the new certification comes along with just a few more skills, maybe this is on-premises version of SQL Server and you want to have a look at the Azure version, then you can say, I have the original skills and I have these new skills. Now, how often does Microsoft actually look at their exams to see if they're relevant? And the answer is every two months. Now, it doesn't mean that they change the actual certification requirements every two months. Sometimes it might just feel that way. However, generally, they will change it maybe once a year. Now, if there are new requirements, sometimes these are minor, very minor. For example, this is the DA-100 certification. And if I look at the exam skills outline, and I just got to this page by Googling DA-100. So the exam guide shows the changes that were implemented. So look at all of the red to see what's changed. And you can see we've added one here, added one here, and just changed the words here. 
and maybe added one to the end, though interestingly, that final thing isn't actually in the actual certification requirements. So I don't know what exactly has happened there, but you can see some of the changes are really minor. Now, some of the changes are going to be really big. And when that happens, Microsoft is going to create a new exam. So the original exam might be number 200. And so this new exam could be 201. In that case, you'll have 90 days notice that the old exam is going to retire. And here's the new exam. That does happen, but your old certification is still valid. So if you have a situation where you have certifications which are about to retire, should you go for it? My answer is check whatever is replacing it. See if you can fulfill the requirements of the new one. If you can, go for it. If not, I would go for the exam requirements that you know. Pass it and then it can be on your CV and resume. And wouldn't that look good? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, why not like it and then click on the subscribe button and then click the bell next to it. That way you will be informed of any new videos. Thank you very much for watching this and I'll see you in the next video.